My name is Infinity Irving, and I am the African American History Interpreter Intern here at Hillsville. I am completing a 10 week HBCU internship here this summer. I'm honored to be graduates of Stockholm State University. I majored in professional history education. My goal was to become a history teacher. However, I realized that that's not really what I want to do. I don't want to be in traditional educational studies. I still want to be able to educate people on historic topics, but not so much great papers. So working at a historic site has been amazing for me this summer and gave me that experience. My experience at Rosa has been amazing. I've been able to conduct different house tours, create my own tour. I have been able to facilitate the day-to-day -day operations here at this park. We open from nine to six every day. So I've been able to work as a park ranger, a park interpreter as well. I mean, this has been an amazing experience. It went by really fast, um, but it has been great. Um, it's been very pleasant. I've been able to connect with many different people who I would have never spoken to on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I've been able to learn from other individuals, guests who come in. Every person who I meet is able to teach me something. If I'm not teaching them, they're able to teach me something. And I've been able to really grow in the field of history and interpretation. I want each person to understand about this space is that this space is all plantations, all historic sites are very interesting, but this one should be one of the top places simply because this is the house of the secessionist governor. You know, this is the house of the man who called for South Carolina to secede from the Union, thus starting what would become the Civil War, you know. They should understand that. They should understand what slavery was. They should understand that it was not this Hollywood fiction of slavery. That's not somewhat, you can see some lessons of it, but this is a real institution. This would have lasted for 400 years. People would have been born into slavery. That's one thing that I emphasize on my tours, that children were born into slavery, that just because an enslaved person worked in, a, in the house or in the kitchen, that does not mean that they had it easier than those individuals who worked out in the field. It is not. And a lot of people, they believe that just because you're not in the field, then it must have been easier. Oh, things, things were more grand. But no, it was not that. Especially when you talk about the kitchen house. The kitchen house, this fact that we're sitting in right now, which is an original structure, would be a home of a lot of personality. All eyes are on the kitchen house. So that's what I want people to understand, that it was not this romanticized Hollywood version of slavery. This was a real system. Those horrible acts during chattel slavery did happen, and it should not be forgotten. They can expect to learn a lot about the African American experience. They can expect to learn that, they can expect to learn what slavery really was. They can expect to learn more about the role of secession. What does secession look like? What does abolition look like? They can expect to learn about the different forms of resistance as well, because people believe that resistance is only seen by running away. No, 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 no. Resistance can be seen by breaking certain items. Resistance can be seen by refusing to work. Resistance can be seen by even poisoning your site master. You can expect to learn about lynchings as well. You can expect to learn that the Gis sons were at the leaders of the plan. They can expect to learn that William Henry Gist would have committed murder and then turn around and become the governor of the state. They can expect to learn the history that is not discussed. So working here as a person of African American descent, as a person who has traced their own genealogy and has been able to find 
ancestors who would have been enslaved, not at this plantation, but at other plantations. It has been very interesting for me to give my own voice to this story, to provide empathy for the people enslaved here. I am thankful for Nate and Stephanie for facilitating this next action, making sure that I have an amazing 10 weeks here. And I hope that the next thing we turn comes to experience as well, and I'm sure that they will.